Everything begins with an idea. Ideas originate from your thoughts. Our thoughts are like a private theatre and as such, they can fascinate us. They are sometimes unpredictable and sometimes on cue. They can surprise us, stimulate us, move us to action and sometimes to tears. As much as thoughts can trigger emotions within us, they can also be triggered by emotions. Feelings influence what is shown in our mental theatre. What I mean by this is that the forms and dynamics of thought are influenced by everything that has a casual connection with you. This includes your society, your environment and all the information you absorb into your mind. If a person is to take real control of their life and create the life that they want, they must learn to take conscious control of the thought stream in their mind instead of abdicating responsibility for thinking. Right thinking is your best light in this dark universe. It's the best hope in your worst hopelessness. And that begins with awareness of what they are actually thinking. Being able to distinguish between what automatically arises and what is consciously originated, learning to choose the thoughts that match your goals and desires, rejecting thoughts that do not match your vision for your life. To do that, we must learn to recognize that our thoughts are not reality or the truth, but offerings. We have the option of choosing to believe and follow a thought or to reject it and replace it with a better one. Importantly, it requires awareness of that option and the regular practice of rejecting strong thoughts that do not fit our views of who we want to be. Begin to choose thoughts that reflect your values and desired identity. Do not choose those thoughts which are based on present conditions or circumstances, especially those which were created by past thinking. Choose your thoughts based on what you wish to be, do or have. That's how you create a future you desire, instead of a predictable future that looks a lot like the present. So in short, all of our thoughts, ideas, notions, beliefs, reasoning or line of thinking are based on all of the information that we accumulated since we were born and that we're going to accumulate in the future. Whether it comes from images, words, expressions or feelings, everything is information. And one of the main functions of the brain or your mind is as a receiver, the receiver of this information. Today, we're not going to talk about the complexity of the physical brain, like the frontal lobe, temporal lobe, left hemisphere or right hemisphere, so on and so forth. I want to explain this in a particular system of philosophical thought. As an independent thinker, I analysed the behaviour of my own thinking and I realised everything was in balance, even if it was rumbling, meandering thoughts, it's still composed of a collection of positive and negative elements. As the creator of my own life, I have the power to choose. Choosing the right thought among thousands of different options will be my escort to execute my goals. Going back to how our mind works, you as a viewer, while you're watching this video right now, maybe you're aware not aware or don't even really care that I'm sending you a piece of information, data or a program to your mind that might affect your way of thinking or behaviour. Actually, it's happening all the time while you're on social media platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram or TikTok. While you're scrolling, when you saw this post or you see images, phrases, words or a short video clip, you probably did not realise that you were already gathering a data programme that might give you positive or negative thoughts. 
This data received by your mind will affect your mood and influence your decision making. Remember, whatever we plant in our subconscious mind and nourish through repetition and emotion will one day become a reality. You have to be very careful and aware of it all the time because life presents us many choices and the choices we make every minute of every day will determine our future goals, happiness and success. In essence, now that you are aware of receiving information, you are also aware that the other function of your brain, your mind, is as a sender, the sender of information. In the book of the Kybalion, the law of polarity is the principle that everything has two poles, good and evil, love and hate, for example. So, if the mind functions as a receiver, naturally, it has another pole or an opposite, which is a sender. Think of the north and south poles on a globe, or a battery with its negative and positive terminals. Everything in the universe has an opposite. Everything is dual, and it's what allows us to experience life to the fullest and appreciate the good in the world. Take time to consider this. Could you know happiness without sadness? Is there love without pain, dark without light? Those two poles are connected as one. They are in the same state, but with different degrees. And this is how Vortex Math and Nikola Tesla 369 comes into place. If you haven't watched our Vortex Math Nikola Tesla 369 series of videos, please do seek them out on our playlist, especially Vortex Math Part 7 and 8. This will help you deeply understand what I'm going to tell you here. If our brain functions as a sender and receiver, it will also respond by processing all the data program or information that we have collected to our conscious and subconscious mind. That is how our thoughts are created. Let's simplify again. It means that there are only three main functions of the mind or brain. Sender of information, receiver of information, and processor of information. This is what is called the cycle of duality, and here are the samples of it.
So why am I telling you this? It's because self-awareness always starts with being aware of what you're thinking by simply identifying how your mind works. In order for you to understand how you can easily filter the knowledge or information that you plant in your thoughts, you must be aware of what you surround yourself with every day and what you're saving into your subconscious. Humans have a very self-centered mind, which gets us into plenty of trouble. If we do not come to understand the error of the way we currently think, our self-awareness, which is our greatest blessing, also becomes our downfall. If you have enjoyed this video, and you're inspired by what you've seen, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Let's change the world together.